New at 6, the reality TV couple at the center of tax evasion cases have settled with the state of Georgia. The case reduced their liability by millions. Channel 2's investigative reporter, Nicole Carr, live in our newsroom. And Nicole, many people want to know how this major investigation ended up like this. Absolutely. We went to independent experts to see how you go from a $2 million debt to what really amounted to just under $150,000. They say this is a mix of cooperation by the Chrisleys, common negotiation tactics, and both parties walking away with something. A good deal is when both sides feel well, a little uncomfortable, right? Like Georgia probably gave up a little bit and, and the other side had to come forward a little bit to make it happen. Atlanta tax attorney Alyssa Maloof Watley represents clients that often find themselves in the same multi million dollar tax trouble as reality TV stars Todd and Julie Chrisley. We had her and Woodstock CPA Josh Simpson take a look at a recent settlement agreement between the Chrisleys and the state of Georgia that significantly reduced what the state said the reality TV stars owe and what they actually ended up paying. From $2.1 million to just under 150000 according to the September agreement. It's not uncommon to see a huge liability go down once you're filing the correct returns, in addition with refunds, in addition with abatements. Um, this is a completely normal tax case. It's a mathematical equation to see how much they can afford to pay. And when the state of Georgia really needs money, they're obviously going to take $100,000 now versus $1,000 over time. The settlement stems from a tax evasion case launched after a 2017 Channel 2 investigation. The issue here was they didn't believe that they were residents of Georgia, so they didn't file returns. But the federal government's report of the Chrisley's income would have been forwarded straight to Georgia, where several years' worth of returns were filed for them with no consideration to income losses or deductions. If they're having to do it for you, they're just taking income and saying, okay, this is your income and this is the tax that you owe. In one year alone, a corrected return played into a major liability deduction for the Chrisleys. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. And now both tax experts say however you work out these agreements with the state, you need a solid licensed team behind you. And they agree the government will often use celebrity cases and make examples out of people. This Chrisley agreement has a common caveat. Should any federal audit come to a different conclusion about what they've made over the years, the agreement would be void. But again, that's a common clause in these agreements. Live in the newsroom, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.